How's everybody doing? Yeah, all right. Guys, we have tonight 10 baptisms that we're going to do. Yes. God is good. And what baptism is, if you're wondering, if, 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 if this has crossed your mind, what happens in a baptismal pool is that we give an outward picture of the work that Jesus has done on the inside. You see, on the inside, the Bible tells me that if any man is in Christ, the old is passed away. Behold, all things become new. And you see, when, when, when a person walks into these waters, there's nothing magical about this pool. We're just dunking under the dove, baby. That's all we're doing. And when somebody comes in here, what we're doing is saying the old man has been buried in Christ, but then raises to a brand new life. And that is a beautiful thing. That is something that we should be shouting about. That is something we should be excited about. I'm if I thought I could do it, I'd turn a flip right out of here onto the stage because I'm so excited about what God is doing at Shearer Hills Baptist Church. Now, yeah, amen. Here's the thing. This is a very informal night. So if you have someone that you love that is being baptized tonight, then walk up here to the splash zone if you need to. Take, take a picture. Right? I, I really, I want you to feel free tonight. To, we're here to celebrate, guys. We are here to celebrate. This is less like a formal church service and a celebration of what God is doing in people's lives. Lives are being changed. People are being set free. People are becoming disciples and living for Christ Jesus. So let's celebrate that tonight. Let, let's hoop and holler tonight. Let, let's, let's take off the churchianity tonight to say, I'm going to be free and I'm going to celebrate what God is doing. And so if, if you have someone that's being baptized, I'm going to try to, to make mention of you. But hey, feel free to come up here and take pictures. We've got Pastor Victor here, who, who photo loco. He has taken all the pictures. He, he's got it going on. And Pastor, I love you. Thank you for what you do. You make a huge difference in this church. Thank you. All right, so let's get our first baptism here. Miss Emma Kelly. Yes. Is Kendra here? Kendra? Yeah. Okay. Kendra, tell us a little yes. bit about Emma. Okay. So I want to just tell you a little bit about Miss Emma Kelly. First of all, um, Emma's parents are Adam and Krista, and you may have seen her sometimes with Grandma Judy, um, who she's here with too. We had the pleasure, Miss Stacy Bryant, Ashley Russell, and myself, of teaching Emma in the third and fourth grade Wednesday night class. And let me just tell you, the growth that we have seen in this young lady this year has been phenomenal. And she has a heart for Jesus, and she has a heart for others, and she's super smart. She got saved a while back, and she came forward just last week, I think, um, and said she wanted to be um, come forward with everyone and be obedient and follow that in baptism. And we are so proud of you, Emma. And we are so excited for you. And she has just been a joy. And we are just so glad that you're here to, um, to see her life-changing right. baptism. Thank you. Hey, if, if you're here supporting Emma, family, friends, would you stand up and let her know, let her see you? Emma, look. I have one question, Emma. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? then it is my pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in a brand new life. Jacqueline Ashburn. There you go. <laughs> This pool feels good on a hot day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Kendra, you want to tell us a little bit about Miss Jackie? Mike is not cooperating with me. There it is. So Jackie um, is also in our kids' ministry. She's in second grade. And Corey and Cindy are her parents, and they're here in the front row. And so we are super excited for Jackie, too. Jackie is such a joy and she always wants to talk and participate and answers lots of questions and again just super smart kiddos we have and 
again, she has a heart for the Lord and she has a heart for others. And you guys should just be so proud of her. She's just um, a blessing to everyone in the kids' ministry and all of your friends to love you, Jackie. So we're so proud of you. Thank you. Jackie, I have one question for you. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Yes. Then it's my pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in a brand new life. Church, this is wonderful, and we're just getting started. Can you stand with me, please? I, I want to lead us in a word of prayer as we go back into some time of worship, God, and song. Father God, you are so good. It is your mercy that endures forever. I'm so thankful for these that are coming to the baptismal pool, following in obedience to what you've given us, Lord. Not just being disciples, but being baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God, bless them. Bless their families. Let this be a day in their life that marks something special, a day they'll never, ever forget. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me introduce you to my main man from church, Mr. Dominic Burt. <laughs> Ms. Kendra, you got something you want to tell us about Dominic? Yes. Okay, so for those of you who know Dom... Dominic. Um, his parents are Evan and Becky Burt, and he is um, in preteen class. And one thing I want to say about Dom is when we went to Superstart with the fifth and sixth graders this year, let me just tell you, this kid out of about 2,000 maybe kids, maybe more than that, Miss Amber, his praise and worship time is better than any adult in this room. I'm just going to tell you, Dom, I love to watch it. Everyone is just fed so much from you and how you really praise God and you don't worry about anyone else who's in the room. It's just you and him during those moments. And so Dom um, was saved a while back, but he wanted to follow in baptism and he, um, you know, talked to mom and dad and me a little bit about how he understood that Baptism is that step of obedience that everyone takes after they are um, to make that public profession um, of faith, and that's what he's here for tonight, and we are so super proud of you, Dom. Dominic, I want to ask you, is Jesus your Savior? Yes. Then it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism. Raised to walk in a brand new life. We got a log jam in the stairwell. Nothing to be nothing to be alarmed about. Oh, Mr. Rhett, capital C Causey. You can tell us about yes. Rhett. So Rhett Causey, um, Kim and Wayne Causey um, are his parents. And one thing you'll notice about Rhett is sometimes we forget he's only like a first grader because he is answering all the questions and singing all the songs. And he even got recognized today um, for being one of the most energetic and enthusiastic kiddos when we were doing our Ready, Set, Move song, getting ready for VBS. And um, so he is one of those kiddos that even though he's young, he's seven years old, but he already gets it. And he knows that Jesus is his savior. And he came forth a few months ago and talked to Sam about wanting to follow in baptism. And we just, we thank you so much, Rhett, for your example. Even though you're one of the younger kiddos, you're becoming a leader right before our eyes. And so we're super proud of you too. Yes, we're so proud of you, Rhett. Rhett's giving me instructions up here. <laughs> Rhett, I have one question for you. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Yes. Then it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raised to walk in a brand new life. He wanted me to power slam him, but I, I, can't, I can't do that. Charlie Esquivel, come on, buddy. 
I was able to meet Charlie. Uh, it's been a while back. I mean, we first came about a year ago, but just hearing a little bit of his story that he's known Christ for a while. You know, he came to Jesus at, at the age of 12, but now he's ready to take this step of obedience into baptism. I'm so proud of him. If you're here with Charlie, can you wave, let him know you're here, show him. Look at there. Yeah. Charlie, I want to ask you, do you know Jesus as your Savior? Yes. Then it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Hold your nose for me. There you go. Raised to walk in a brand new life. So sometimes when I get all jazzed up up here doing baptisms, I forget to say stuff that I wanted to say. So when Charlie, that just got baptized, Charlie with the cool hair. Um, Becca and Michael, are you out here? I forgot to mention you guys. You guys are rocks. I appreciate you so much. And even though that Charlie's going to OU next year, we, we're going to love you. <laughs> appreciate you guys. Now, let me introduce you to Miss Autumn Cothran. <laughs> you hear that? You've got some fans out there. <laughs> That's not embarrassing at all, is it? That, that is wonderful. That is love if I've ever seen it. Look, Autumn is the daughter of Ken and Heidi Kupke. Uh, you know, Autumn was saved, I guess, about five years ago or so. And baptism for her has a new meaning. It's a new mile marker in her life. And I'm proud to be able to share in that. Let's look here and get a picture real quick. And then we'll look at mom and dad. <laughs> I have one question for you, Autumn. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Yes. Then it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raised to walk in a brand new life. All right, where are all you guys on Sunday when I'm preaching? I need that. I, I need that in my life. Yes. It's wonderful. Come on, somebody. Ashley Atkins. Ashley has been coming here since Easter. And I got to meet her, I guess it was last Sunday, personally. Come stand over here. So last Sunday we were able to talk and she shared a little bit about what's going on in her life and, and her work and to be baptized, I didn't even know that, that this was on the table for Ashley until today and she came and she talked to Sandra in, in the Welcome Center. She says, I want to be baptized. <laughs> and so this is a beautiful, beautiful moment. I love this kind of thing. This, this is how it works. This, this is how it's supposed to be, guys. These waters are supposed to keep turbulent with baptisms, and, and that's supposed to be a wonderful, wonderful thing. Ashley, I want to ask you a question. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Yes. Yes, I do. Hey, Amen. That is a great affirmative answer. Yes. <laughs> then it is my privilege, my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in a brand new life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my. Oh, I love it. I love it. You know, it, it's just one of those things that make you feel like you swallow the smile. That's what I feel like right now. Yeah, and you can quote me on that, Victor. I feel like I swallowed a smile. I feel the earth move under my feet. It's Carol King. Not that Carol King, but a different one. It is the same one. <laughs> Carol has known Jesus for a while in her life, but she has never taken the steps of baptism. But today, tonight, she wanted to do that. I'm so proud of you. Blesses my heart. That blesses my heart. It really does. You don't know how much. You see, here, here's the thing, guys. You always think, well, that, that window has just passed me by. No, it's never passed you by. 
It's, it's never too late to take a step of obedience, ever. It's never the wrong time to do the right thing. I'm so proud of you, Carol. And I only have one question. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Then it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raised to walk in a brand new life. Father God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this night. Thank you for all these beautiful souls, Lord, that you have brought into your kingdom that are following in obedience to baptism. Thank you for their love for you. Thank you for the excitement of this church, Lord. Continue, Lord. Please continue to bring people in. People that need to know you. People that need to follow in these steps of obedience. God, people that need to be in these waters of baptism. God, I thank you. Because you're the one who does it, Lord. You allow us to have a part in this. But God, you are the one. And we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. You are the great one. You are the mighty one. And God, we bow a knee to you. We lift up our hands to praise you. And we thank you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. This, uh, all baptisms are special to me. This one is super special to me because I'm so proud of this, of this man. His name is Thomas Senecolis. When I asked him his last name, he said it real fast, and I thought he said Thomas St. Nicholas. <laughs> but I tell you what, Thomas, it's like Christmas to me, buddy. It's like Christmas to me to have you right here. Met Thomas at Reaching Hands. Thomas came and he began to come to our Wednesday night suppers. He began to come to our Bible studies. He talked to me about baptism, shared the gospel with Thomas. He accepted Jesus as his Savior. And now he's standing in this baptismal pool. But it, this is what I love. This shows the transforming power of Jesus in a life. This man shows up to reaching hands and says, I'm here to help. And so I walk past the showers. There's Thomas in there working and they're cleaning up the showers after they're done. So proud of you, man. Church, can you show Thomas some love and stand and show him your support? Tom Thomas, this is your family now. <laughs> These people love you, Thomas. And I love you too, brother. And I am glad you're here. Let's get a picture of Pastor Victor. Thomas, one question. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Then it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raised to walk in a brand new life. love to watch God transform a life. If you don't know what that's like, then you don't know joy. That is pure joy. Pure joy. We have one more baptism tonight. You guys can have a seat. This is Mr. John Hossey. John is the son-in-law of Virgil and Bobby Powell. Are they here tonight? Sure Look, at, uh, there they are waving. <laughs> Virgil, you're waving your cell phone in the air? That's what I'm talking about, buddy. John, let's take a picture here. John is following the Lord in believer's baptism. John, I'm proud of you. Once again, it's one of those things that there, it's never too late. The right thing is always the right thing, and I'm so proud of you. That means the world to me that you'd be in here tonight. John, do you know Jesus as your Savior? I do. Then it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism.
raised to walk in a brand new life. Church, we have a lot to be thankful to God for. We have a lot to celebrate in the house of God. Amen? Well, then come on, somebody. Let's stand to your feet and let's worship.